Hey there, Amphi! Welcome to Amplified News! I'll get the announcements out of the way quickly, and then in the interim, so not very quickly at all. Because this is the election week show, Amphi, where it's elections. It's student body president elections. Are there other student body positions? I don't think there are. Let's get right to it, Amphi. I just want to tell you quickly to remember to pay for your prom or any other pictures that you ordered at the bookstore. Last call for all orders from Photo Club is May 14th. And attention all seniors that will be returning next year. Yes, I know some of you. And you can now pick up your registration packets in the counseling office. These must be returned in by the end of the school year. And now we're going to go straight to Omar with elections. Omar? Hello, guys. Student body officer positions are really important. Why? Because they're going to be in charge of student council. In student council, they're going to be planning events such as prom, homecoming, um, carnival, Pep assemblies. Do you want those things to be cool? Do you want those things to be like amazing? Well, that's why you're gonna vote for them. You're gonna put attention for them, and you're gonna see if you really want them as your officers. First off, we're gonna start with the student body uh, president position. So, Gabriela Mejia, please come up here. Good morning, my name is Gabriela Mejia and I'm running for student council president for the 2014-2015 school year. I believe I'm a good candidate for this position because I love being a part of student council and enjoy being able to make a difference at our school. I also believe I'm a good candidate for this position because I have experience being in student council and know what is required for me in order to greatly fill this position. I've been a part of and assisted in several events throughout the school year. I was committee chair for royalty, future freshman night, recruitment, and a big thing I'm a part of at our school is coordinating blood drives. Not only am I a student council representative, but I'm also an honor student, student athlete, and as well as a member of our band. Today I'm not here to promise longer passing periods or better school lunches. Today I stand here motivated to make Amphi a better place. Step by step, I'd like to change the way our school is viewed by our community, and as well as change the way you, all of you look at our school. I would like our student body to be proud of attending our school, and to do this, I'd like to promote more school spirit and plan events with student council that our student body is sure to enjoy and be excited to attend. So remember that a vote for me is a vote for change and for incredible experiences during your high school career. Thank you. All right, thank you, Gabby. Now we're going back to Casey for more announcements. Thank you, Omar. And now we'll cut to the prepared popcorn video. <laughs> Hey, I'm five. I just wanted to let you know that all PE students must remove all of their belongings by May 16th. Anything less left in the locker rooms after the 16th will be donated to charity. So if you're feeling charitable, donate some things. All Cambridge students taking the IGCSE math board exams are invited to Mr. Zelov's room, which is 405, during lunch to work through the released exams. If you have not received a sample test, stop by and get one, and then stay a while and practice for the test. I G C S E, and now we're gonna go back to Omar with the elections. I like that song a lot. Okay, um, next up we have the student body vice president positions. Unfortunately, one of the candidates was not able to make it on this time, but we have the other candidate, uh, Robert Olagi. Can you please step on stage. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Hey guys, I know it's the morning, but bear with me here. My name is Robert Olagi, and I am running to be your new student body vice president. Cassie Avithia did an amazing job at being vice president of Amphi Theater High School, and I would like to take her position since she is a senior and she will be leaving us soon. Anyways, take a look around you. What do you see? Friendships being made, laughs being shared, and success being accomplished. What I see is friends by my side and teachers among their desks grading our work. We all walk these halls with that one simple thought in our head. Did I do my homework? <laughs> or you're supposed to do your homework. But I guess the point is, high school is a place full of questions, and the answers lie within. I will make this school a better place. So if you vote for me to be your new student body vice president, I will make this place your home. Thank you. All right, thank you, Robert. Now back to you, Casey. Thank you, Omar. Um, and now, we're going to go to a yearbook video. <laughs> Student 
Students, any items not claimed from the lost and found will be donated to the Amphi Clothing Bank at May 16th. And also, remember to wear your IDs. It's not that hard, Amphi. And even if you forget, you can get a replacement one from your teachers, or if you want to go see Miss Mercier in the office. And now back to Omar with what I believe to be the final election speech. Alrighty. Okay, so the last speech it will be for the student body secretary, Flora Yanis. Hi, my name is Flora. I am currently a sophomore, and I want to be student council secretary. I want to be a leader for this school in any way that I can. As secretary, I will help make student council as best as it can possibly be. I want to make a difference in this school by providing new ideas, and I am always organized and ready to work. I am dedicated, responsible, and enthusiastic. I believe that I am qualified to be secretary due to the fact that I take part in school as a student athlete and an honor student, which, takes, which has helped take a large amount of responsibility. And I am dedicated to take, to take on the role of secretary and being a part of student council. Please vote for me and thank you for your time. All right, thank you, Flora. And that is it for the student body election election so we're back to you Casey thank you Omar I'm just going to close this out with a few <coughs> announcements now am I <coughs> students the temperature is changing but the dress code isn't so remember to dress dress like a huge geek all the time you'll look great you'll make a lot of friends and you'll be very successful in life trust me nice. and the pyramid club is selling t-shirts for only eight dollars if you want to dress like a huge geek this will help you so you can go to the bookstore and buy one of their geeky t-shirts for only eight dollars and Omar is signaling something furiously and has completely changed his outfit so Omar what do you want to say? Farham I don't think this mic works. Can uh, we do a sound check? Yeah let's get a sound check. 30 seconds we need total silence. We'll check the mics guys. 30 seconds total silence please. Okay, mic should be good, and we're on. All right, let's get back to it. New positions. It's working, right? Oops. Check. Yes, it's working now. Okay, we're cut. Well, that's a lot of nonsense, Amphi. But you know it's not a lot of nonsense? Project Grad. You can buy your tickets in room 212 for only $20. It's going to be an entire night of unlimited fun. And that's straight edge, Amphi. Speaking of straight edge, you can be straight edge at tutoring if you want to. It's every Monday through Wednesday from 3.30 to 5. You can get help with your homework. And also math tutors are available. There's a lot of really great people there to help you with all your work. Including, but not limited to, Mr. Scheel. He's a wonderful teacher and a very great man. Thank you, Amphi. Have a great week. Okay, it's stream. End of show. Yes. All PE students must remove all of their clothing by May 16th. Anything left on your body will be burned. And fine. All Cambridge students taking the IGCSE math board exams are blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and please remember to wear your IDs.